Here's a trick to make fights against ruined guards and ruined hunters much easier. You can use this on them while you're exploring, fighting them in domains, or even hunting them for bounties in a new reputation quest. Let's start with the ruined hunter. To do this trick, the minimum requirement is an archer and the GOMC. All you need to do is create a meteor and climb on it. This will cause the hunter's AI to always float in the air and do its bombardment attack. While it's up there, it will also expose its weak spot. Just shoot that glowing spot with any archer to bring it down for free damage. When it begins to wake up again, just create another meteor and climb back on. This happens because the AI is forced to use this attack when your character changes in elevation. Again, this trick works on the bounty targets from the new reputation quest and in domains where you farm that nice Geo and Bolide artifact sets at AR-45. <laughs> also, when the hunter flies up, it will push your character back and possibly off the meteor. To prevent falling, just be in aim mode with your archer. While in aim mode, you cannot drop off any cliffs or heights. Another method for these hunters is to replace the Geo MC with Venti. Using Venti's E to float also causes the AI to hover in the air and expose its weak spot. Same principle occurs here. Venti's E causes a large elevation change, forcing the hunter to do a bombardment attack. I'm just repeating the stun lock to show you it works. You can go ahead and skip forward to the Ruined Guard if you want. Now for the Ruin Guard. Once again, you need an Archer and the Geo MC. You'll also need to disable it by shooting its weak spot twice. The first hit stuns and the second hit will disable it. While it's sitting on the ground, put a Meteor right under it. This will make it unable to wake up until the Meteor disappears. Only downside is needing range units to do decent damage because it's pretty difficult for a melee unit to climb on the same Meteor and attack. When the meteor shatters, just place another one under it. This causes the AI to freeze again and not attack. Again, this trick can be done in domains and on bounty target. Hope this helps make these enemies less annoying. I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of the video, and have fun out there traveler.